Good day to you. This is uh, our uh, special report of the uh, the Master Pattern Report for Thursday, July 16th. Well, we, we survived uh, Alaska, uh, just barely. Um, what a place. What, what, a, what a country within a country. Uh, talking about real Americans, I'll tell you. But it was a great, great trip. If you haven't been there, you definitely have to go. Just don't take your wife because they tend to catch all the fishes. Okay. All right. Let's see how we uh, how we did um, this past week. Uh, silver is was just off of our call. Uh, I'm not quite certain that we've seen the bottom of it for this period here, but it, it looks like it's, it's starting to bounce. It, it hit a, a, an intraday low of around twelve dollars and thirty nine cents. I think it was. Um, uh, just off of our call of uh, around $12, uh, but significantly down from the $14 uh, when we had uh, $14 and change that we had mentioned it. We did add to our position uh, this week, and we we very well, if it, if it drops back down, it's up over $13 uh, as we speak. Uh, if it does drop back down to the $12 area plus area, we're, we're going to be buying some more. Uh, we'll, we'll, we're going to see uh, next week we should have a clearer picture of how that pattern is, is going to be uh, transgressing uh, from this point uh, or, or not. Um, okay, um, just to bring up the date on some of the trades, we haven't talked about trades that we've done because our model, our computer model has been down. We, we think it's fixed. We'll know tonight or tomorrow. But um, we, we have been trading mostly to Forex. We've had two trades this, this week. Uh, the first was a short of the, uh, uh, of the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen, which was uh, actually a day trade, produced us a 19% a, a return. Uh, and the other, which is was a continuing uh, trade that we have uh, just two days for two days now, which was long the Australian dollar and short the uh, U.S. dollar, and that one is up 51% on uh, on, uh, on our two-day uh, trade. Uh, so we've we've been doing uh, doing pretty well with these things, and um, uh, we're still getting our feet wet with with the forex because it's a, it's a new entity for us. Um, now next week uh, we like the Canadian dollar. Uh, looks good. Looks strong. Um, uh, they're they're exporting, uh, which is something that we're not doing. Um, and, um, and the U.S. Uh, uh, dollar looks weak. Uh, as interest rates took a huge jump this week, uh, I mean mortgage rates went from a four and um, four and three quarters for the thirty year, approximately to almost five and a half. I mean that, that's a that's a huge jump, um, and, and uh, of course the rates are spiking uh, as we had uh, declared, and uh, oil is on its way uh, back up again, um, which oil is is a reflection of the U.S. Uh, U.S. economy as we continue to strengthen, and it's not only the uh, the unemployment, it's it's the uh, uh, the CPI and and the amount of available uh, funds. Uh, the, the, these government bureaucrats don't understand that if, if people <laughs> if you take equity away from people as, as is what occurred in the real estate market, uh, they don't have the money to spend like they had in the past. So that ball game is over. You, you have to start a, a, a new game. You know, it, it, it's the ninth inning. But they're, they're trying to stretch it out into, you know, an extra inning game here. Um, and, and it's the worst thing that can happen to us. CIT, now they want to try and bail the thing about bailing. Forget about it. I mean, let them all go broke. We're, we're, you know, the game is over. I mean, who are they kidding with the CPI? You leave out uh, oil. You leave out, um, you know, energy. Uh, uh, you leave out housing. I mean, come on, give us a break. You know, you. I mean, uh, how many stupid? There's a lot of stupid people in this world, but right now there seems to be, they seem to be smarter than most of the politicians. All right, and they, and the government is causing more uh, more problems with uh, with the talks and the moves that they're making. Very, very, very poor. Um, and for instance, they in in, in the last uh, uh, funding for the uh, Afghan war, they gave five billion dollars to the bankrupt IMF, International Monetary Fund, International Monetary Fund. International Monetary Fund couldn't run a whorehouse. I mean, they are the, the worst people. They're, they're horrible in management, all right? Um, 
so, so I mean, this is this is the type of thing that that we're engaged with, or our, our our leaders are engaged with, um, and and this whole notion of punishing the rich and taking from them uh, and degrading capitalism uh, is separating the country, and and they they've pitted uh, you against me and me against others and. You know, rich against the poor, and, and that's that. That's not going to get us anywhere. That's that's their way of keeping us off balance and trying to make themselves look good. Uh, but it's not doing the country any good. We're not addressing. The, I'll keep, continue to say this: we're going to flunk. We're going to fail because they're not addressing the major problem of this country, and that is the, the real estate uh, uh, debacle. The, you you prices continue to slide or hold at very, very low levels without any increases whatsoever. It, 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 there's no equity. There's no money for people to spend like they have in the past. That's why I say that the party's over. It's just a matter of time before we fold the tent and start a new ball game. All right? and they're just putting it off. But it's coming. It's coming within the next 24 months, um, if not sooner. Um, uh, okay, so... Um, uh, we, 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 but we still believe that the market is going to bounce back here, and um, uh, for the next, I don't know, maybe maybe month or so, uh, till September, maybe beginning of September. Um, I, 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 I can't see the, the pattern clearly enough yet, but I'll, but but we'll, we're going to be re reporting to you. Um, and, the, and the other thing you have to watch out for pretty soon before the end of this year is this: China and Russia are up to something, right? Uh, and I have a feeling, uh, and this is just a hunch right now from what I see with the Master Pattern Report, they may be working on uh, formulating a hard currency. In other words, um, a currency, a joint currency that's backed by you know gold or silver or, or various types of elements. I'm not sure, but I'll report to you on that. And just to give you uh, a, an idea of, of how the Master Pattern Report uh, functions, um, last a week ago Tuesday, before uh, on Monday, I'm sorry, uh, the 11th, just before I left, I sent an email to a, a local councilman telling him not to pass the capital budget as it was, because um, um, our report indicated they're going to need the money for um, disasters or uh, of, of some sort. The next day is when the tornado hit. Uh, the Westchester uh, area uh, on up to uh, up, up up the line to up to up to Boston, um, so uh, happened a little quicker than what we had predicted, but uh, that's 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 a recorded uh, uh, position that that we took and uh, and predicted uh, the the day before it happened, and so that that's how the uh, the pattern works, and I'm going to try and graphically show this to you. The last thing I talked to, I told you about um, um, the Obama administration. I told you about the Obama, something with, uh, may, may occur. The report is saying that uh, Obama is not going to uh, make it through the uh, the four years. That there may be something. It may be, I, I, and I don't think it will be an assassination. So don't don't get your feathers up. I, I think it may be an illness. Or it may be something uh, that terrible happens with the economy or with the country, uh, something that's so huge or embarrassing that it, it, it may may foster a, a resignation of some sort, or it may be a serious illness. Okay, and you know the way he threw that opening pitch at, at the game, uh, the the um, All Star game, it doesn't look like he's got much strength left. But in any event, uh, that's the way it is. We're going to um, be reporting back to you again on our usual schedule uh, Monday, uh, the 20th, I believe that is, or is it 24th? 20th. Okay, in any event, uh, have a great weekend. Uh, stay cool, and we'll see you. Uh